the beast. Uh, got some things set up here. Uh, first things first, steel gears. Just stone gears with steel around them. Pretty simple. Going to need 16 of those. Because those are used in the industrial steam engine. So, two steel gears, three steel plates, glass, and a piston. So, I'm making eight of those because, to my knowledge... For every high-pressure boiler block you have, you can power one of these. So, hmm. as you can tell, I kind of built a bit of a building around there, but uh, I hadn't fully, entirely, 100% completed it. I'm trying to hide as much of, like, dirt and stuff as possible. Like, you can see I tried to do it here, mostly, to look really hard. But, uh, apparently not so much here. Oh, and I don't think I made any more iron jacketed cable to put down here. Uh, I did get an export bus the whole way over here, but I haven't set it up yet. Uh, because there's no point turning on the steam engine, or steam engine, the uh, steam boiler, without... Well, basically, without having something to power. What am I doing, exactly, besides wasting gratuitous amounts of aluminum that nobody cares about? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I didn't make any more. If I have any more, it'll be in here. No. Okay. Oh, wait a second here, was there? Wow. I had red alloy ingots in there the whole time. That is more than enough. As is that. Um, I think it was three crafts worth I needed. It was 4, 4, and then 4, I think. I probably should have done this beforehand, but... Meh. Too late now. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Iron jacketed cable. Whoops. Uh, Throw those in there. Whoopsie. This is not the first time I've done that, and it will not be the last. Oh, I did make it. Why did I put it in there, then? What is wrong with me? So, yeah. Uh, this... Yes, yes, it links up just fine. Uh, I tested this. This does run... And I figured this out. Apparently, uh, there's three slots. You can only put two of the uh, the copper ones in there, and then you have to put a tin one in. Although I accidentally broke one of these engines and basically destroyed the upgrade. So, yeah. Oh, right. I remember now. The reason why I hadn't put this in yet is because I need to be able to place red alloy wire on the bottom of the engines. Right. Okay, so. Engine, 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 engine. Engine, 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 engine. Let's face these the right way first. Stop that. Do these... No, they just run off of steam. They don't require water. As I thought. Dun, dun, dun. What? Oh, right. I guess 
technically I didn't need as much iron jacketed wire as I was making it seem like I did then. Eh, it'll be okay. Uh, I suppose I should probably fill this mostly in, so that way you don't see all of this crap. Oh, hmm, whatever, it'll be fine. Why are you off? Why are you off? Right. I don't believe these are full, so... I need coal. So, 54,000 coal. Almost 55,000. I don't think I could technically use up enough of this for it to be a huge deal. Can you not do that? Oh, right, I had it disabled. So, this is going to burn through quite a number of coal. Come on. Oh. Well, now I've really screwed it. So, I guess we'll come back to this in a second. Uh, how much coal is it actually going to burn through? We've already output roughly 200 and something. And it's not going through the coal as quickly as I thought it would, and it's going to get even more and more efficient as it heats up. So by the time it's at a thousand Celsius, it'll actually be really, really efficient. So... We haven't even generated any steam yet. All of those guys should get uh, steam once I turn this on, which I'm not going to flick the lever until it's actually making steam. This guy's still doing stuff here. I haven't really been letting the game run or anything either, so the amount of coal coke I have isn't all that great. I've got uh, 70 steel, and then I've got 59 coal coke down here. So, because I can pick these up. So... I guess I don't have a whole lot. I stop putting things where they don't need to be. I don't really have anything else planned, to be honest. Hmm. So. This is slowly draining. These won't turn on until this can store as a free power in it. Free power room. So. I got a 600 Minecraft Jewels buffer sitting right there. Uh, so I need two aluminum blocks. Okay. One, one, two. Uh, I haven't decided, like, I know I want to put lead on here eventually, probably, to keep the same design flowing about with everything else, but, uh, I think... I was doing the estimates or whatever in order to actually lead that whole thing I would need to use probably almost 2,000 lead. Like not to fill it up entirely but to do a general idea of how much I want to put in here for lead. Although I honestly have no idea how much that is. Probably like one here one here, uh, here, and here. Probably wouldn't be a huge deal. But the murder comes from uh, putting it around the top here. Uh, I'm going to actually, this, where the, uh, the aluminum is here, I'm actually going to shave that off entirely if I go to put lead in here. You'll see the steam's actually above half, and that's because uh, it's generating steam, but it's not using the steam. 
Well, if I flick this, it should go down to the middle point and the why are these do they actually require power? They do. Gotcha. Now these take a second to kick into full power. Uh partly because the steam's gonna have to actually fill pretty sure the steam can fill the whole way to the top. Uh, do I have a good way to drain power? Is my backup energy cell... I didn't store it in there, did I? Uh, just... Oh, this. The sorting function doesn't work very well in here either. And if you're wondering why there's quartz crystals in here, it's because I decided to eject them out of my system. I saved some just in case, and the rest of them are thrown away. And it freed up a good bit of space in the uh, machine there. But uh, also, I set up an additional wire uh, circuit conduit straight from the uh, where the generators come in. Because I was sitting here and I was thinking, fuck, I can generate up to 200, but I can't use all of that. Because these can only accept... This one would fill up, and then everything else would break as it tried to slowly trickle through the others. So I wanted to make it so it could actually feed straight out, no problem. At least that was the plan. Oh, I suppose I already put one up there, but for the sake of this test, I wish to drain as much power out of here as possible. Did I make a mistake? Shouldn't these be able to get more filled? I mean, I could change it. I have the technology. All I've got to do is add another set of pipes on either side. Uh, temporarily remove those, place them back later. Because now if I place them, they'll reconnect to those, but it won't interfere because liquid ducts are cool like that. Uh, now I need two more levers because I am ill-prepared. I could technically wire them up with iron jacketed cable, I think. Well, that didn't seem to do fuck all. Is there just more engines and this thing can actually supply? Did I get something wrong here? Well, this is going down in steam. No, these are using it just fine. They're actually speeding up to where they need to be now. They can each generate eight, and since I have eight of them, that's 64 right there. Uh, that alone will not be able to keep up the amount that I'm draining into this energy cell. But that's... Hopefully we can drain it enough where the tier 2 system kicks on. Which would be ideal. Uh, let's actually go grab another uh, conduit. Uh, this guy's 100-100. We'll keep him in there. And then we'll grab another one of these uh, cells. And why not just try and fill some up? It'll help make this test go smoother. Because this one's inevitably going to fill up eventually. And they are technically hooked into the 
overflow, I guess you could call it. But why is this guy only generating four? Four, 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 four. Well, I apparently screwed something up somewhere. Uh, I kind of want to expand this up another block, but uh, if I did that, oh. Actually, I want to leave them like that and just turn that off. So I apparently managed to completely drain the steam out of here. Which is not what I was going for at all. On, on, off. Maybe that will resolve it? No, it's going down. That's not good. That means there's indeed more engines here than I can properly supply with uh, steam. Well, that could be a bit of a nuisance. Let's disable two of these engines. I guess I didn't need to destroy that. I disable two of the engines. What if I just do that? Well, it's not an output because it's below half. But it should get up to that point, no problem, I hope. This is being far more difficult than I had originally intended. And... Staying perfectly even right now. Uh, I'm not sure how much steam it's actually providing to these engines. When these hit four, are they going to cap there because they're not getting enough steam? That looks like it might be the case. We need more power, Captain! We just can't do it! One small steam boiler is not enough. Well, balls. Balls. Yeah. Hmm. And the thing is, is, with something like this, you want it to cool down before you try and do any major changes. Uh, active with single. Single? Signal. Pull out all of that. Let it slowly turn off. This room might have to be higher than I had originally expected. But, uh, steel plates. 
How many does it make for every steel again? Four. Okay, so I only need to use eight. Click to craft. Uh, I made a mistake because I'm gonna increase it by two. Why are you telling me to click to craft? You never said that before. Why are you doing that now? The the only unfortunate thing is is the bigger the tank, the longer it takes to get it heated up. Oh, this is a horrible idea. Oops, I broke it. Oh, the highest it can go is three by three. Okay. Or three high. Uh, that seems to have killed its heat. Which is fine. Throw this coal back in here. Oops. Turn this on. I guess we'll see if we can't power this. Um, yeah. I know you can make one that's uh, three by three, but that just seems considerably more steam than I should need. And I added four more blocks, so who knows? Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'm going to let this go, and I'll update you next time on how well it decided to progress. Although, if uh, next time this turns out to be a 3x3 three three boiler, you'll know it didn't work. So, I'm going to call this good for now. A little bit shorter than usual. Estimating about 22 minutes based on my clock. So, uh, see you guys next time. Have a good day.